Hello and welcome to the part 2 of the character creation tutorials on Blender 2.6. I'm going to be showing you a bit about how to make trousers. This is all basic stuff so that beginners can then follow the first few tutorials and then go into making more advanced structure out of that, uh, what you've got. But right now I'm going to go straight into making trousers keeping an eye on the time this time because I had to clip it um, from 15 minutes to 10 minutes and I'm going to press uh, edit mode I'm going to do the exact same thing as before so if you haven't seen the previous tutorial then I advise you check it out that's a loop select with alt and click or on Mac just search it multi loop select or multi select, select loops yeah, select, invert, inverse, okay, and then I'm just going to use circle select to start off with in wireframe mode with one and under pad and holding alt or your middle mouse button at the same time, scaling with mouse button, middle mouse button or sliding your finger on the map a magic mouse to change the scale and then I'm going to introduce you to if you don't know it already box select with B which is good for getting a nice even across for both sides so I was holding alt just like with the circle select or your middle mouse button to drag over there and this select what I had selected now I'm going to press Z to get out of wireframe mode. Give it a quick check. They're low right now, but I'm going to sort that out. And that's looking pretty good. So uh, Shift D to duplicate. Click so you don't move anywhere. And then P to separate. So separate the selection. Select on what you want to separate. And go back into object mode and find where your trousers or whatever you've used is go into edit mode on that and I'm going to first use multi loop select multi select loops on this I'm going to do exactly as I did before and scale it on the z axis to bring it into a straight line as soon as it becomes a straight line Come on, okay, there we go. G on the Z axis upwards just so that. Um, sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to scale that out. As you can see, it's going. These, well, obviously, these trousers are a bit tight right now for a guy's trousers, unless you want to turn them into some kind of armor. But um, we'll be sorting out that problem bit later, maybe in part 2 of making the trousers, which I might need to make. Okay, and pull them out just a bit because as you can see the trousers have gone into it. Okay, and now with control and R at the same time you get this purple line which you can scroll to change the amount of and they're adding ring loops so if you hear someone go oh, I'll just add a ring loop and then you don't know what they've done uh, they're pressing control and R they're scrolling to get the amount that they want but I'm just going to use one clicking then you can slide it along wherever you want into that area and I'm just going to place it somewhere in the centre just for a little bit of and I'm going to scale it slightly, just for a little bit more of a uh, better look, okay, and um, now down on the, um, on here, I'm going to have to multi loops like that, and scale it on the y axis, just a bit and I'm going to grab it on the y axis, bring it forwards, 
Um, is that enough? Yes, that's quite enough because then I'm also going to press E to extrude. I'm going to click it so I don't end up grabbing it anywhere. Oops, I think that's not extrude. E to extrude. Yep, and I don't want to be grabbing it around anywhere because then I, um, I'll i lose the position. Click it and scale it just to add a bit more of the depth to the trouser thing so when people see it, if they are looking that close, they're not going to be able to see that it's going into her sides, but they would be able to see that it's a proper thickness. Okay, and now I like to add in those belt loops for the edge. As a little bit of detail, I'm just going to check how much time I've gone into. Okay, roughly, I'm guessing, uh, six minutes, like ten seconds. Yeah. Um, and because I've got that amazing sense of time, um, to do this, I'm going to first delete half of this. So go to wireframe view, press one, Z, oops, sorry, A and press box select so that I'm select this is going down just as close to the center of the trousers as possible and I'm going to go over the whole thing of course I didn't have quite enough screen there but go over the whole side of the leg I don't know why I picked this side but you can pick any side you want X vertices and then I'm going to add a mirror okay and that's mirrored it perfectly well so that seems all right and I'm gonna press if it hasn't worked for you maybe you've done that side make sure you've got the right axis that it's reflected on um because you can it can be inside the same area and things and it sometimes gets messed up but okay that seems fine and I'm gonna press ring loops, so control and R, I'm going to add one downwards about there, and then no one's going to notice that there isn't actually a loop in here, so I'm just going to bring it outwards a little bit, and I'm going to grab it and just bring it outwards, a noticeable amount, I'm not going to go into the making of a belt, because you wouldn't quite be able to make it with these They're just for a bit of show and don't be doing them every every like single side They're just a very quick thing you don't and you want less on the back because on real trousers you get less towards the back more in the front and basically it just gives quite a good effect I liked it on my previous model so I'm just going to add two, add one another one here and that'll be it for me because they are mirrored on the other side of course. Okay, pulled out. Okay, and that's how that looks, just a little bit of um, detail there. I, that's not exactly a straight line, so they've been changing in um, the size, so I'm just going to go G on the z-axis, pull that down. I mean, if you think about it, no one's going to notice that these are different sizes. You're just doing it for a little bit of, oh wow, you know, this person's added this in just there and it makes it look slightly better. Okay, so I'd say the top's looking fine, top of the trousers are looking fine for now. Um, you can add in like a little part there for the where the zip would be and pockets eventually but right now I'm going to focus on that they're a bit too tight for a guy's trousers and I'm going to try and sort that out for the next part so just come back for part two I'm going to be making it right now um, this is like TV bye